Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa probability of union of two events. Okay, medyo madali lang to, kaya kayang-kaya natin to ha. Pero bago ko simulan ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ng like button. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na mga anak, na like, na subscribe at na hit na rin ang notification bell? Sigurado o? Oh. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for learning task number one, we have here this one. The extracurricular activities in which the senior class of SPC, Science Integrated High School, participate are shown in the Venn diagram. So, we have here drama, band, and athletics. Now, how many students are in the senior class? Okay, this question is very easy because you just have to add all of this one. Lahat ng mga ito. Kasi ito ay bilang ng mga estudyante sa ating senior class. So, what you will have to do is to add 40. Okay, wait lang. Okay, so we have 40. Make sure walang makakalimutan na. Plus 30, plus 10, plus 4. Ito yun, 40, 30, 10, plus 4. Plus 51, ito yun, plus 10, plus 140. And the one that is outside, ito, plus 10. So, lahat yan ay students in senior high school class or senior class. So, para gawin ngayon yan, para mas mabilis at hindi na tayo matagalan pa mag-add, gamit na tayo nitong pinagbabawal nating technique, ha? O, sige, let's have 40 plus 30 plus 10 plus 4 plus 51 plus 10 plus 140 plus 10. Okay, ilan lahat? Oy, sorry. Yan ay 295. So, there are 295 students in senior class. Lagyan nyo na lang ng label ha. Now, how many students participate in athletics? Ilan daw yung nagpa-participate ng, sa athletics? So, kung titingnan ninyo yung circle ni athletics, eto yun. Yan, lahat ng studyante na nagpa-participate sa athletics. So, let's add. We have 4 plus 10 plus 10 plus 140. Okay, so let's add. This is, ang naman, 140, 150, 160 plus 4, 164. Okay, so ilagay nyo dyan. There are 164 students who are participating in athletics. For number 3, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability, okay, that the student participates in athletics or drama, ha? Tignan nyo yung keyword natin, or drama. It means we have to get the union of athletics and drama. So, etong athletics and then etong drama, ia-add natin, kukunin natin yung total nila. So, for athletics, we have 4 plus 10 plus 10 plus 40. Ito na nga yan, yung kanina. Plus 40 plus 30. Ito, ha? No need ng ulitin ito, di ba? Pag union, hindi na natin inuulit yon Okay, and then let's have the total. Kung ito ay 164 plus 40, 100, ah, 164 plus 40, 204. Okay, plus 40, you will have 244. Pero hindi pa ito ang answer ha. Tandaan nyo, ang tanong natin ay tungkol sa probability. It means uh, the probability okay, of getting or choosing, alagay natin, the probability of the union of athletics okay, and drama is equal to O, A ha, for athletics, D for drama. Pero buuin nyo yan ha, yung word na yan para kompleto kayo. Okay, is equal to, ilan ba yung possible na 
Uh, ilan ba yung number of ways that an event occur dito? You have 244, okay? Over uh, number of possible outcomes. Ilan lahat nito? Total, 295, okay? Pwede pa bang masimplify yan? 244 and 295, Hindi na. So, the probability is 244 over 295. Okay. Now, for number 4. If a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student participates only? Ha? Word. Only in drama and band. Okay? Magpa-participate lang siya doon sa intersection ng drama and band. O dapat yung nanonood lang ng drama ay nanonood. Or nagpa-participate lang ng drama at ng band. O asan yung nagpa-participate lang sa drama at band. So, eto yung drama, eto yung band. Ang nagpa-participate lang doon ay eto. Okay, and that's 30. Hindi mo pwedeng kunin tong mga to ha, kasi may athletics siya. Sabi, only drama and band. Okay, so 30 yon. Okay, pero ang hinahanap natin ay probability. So, the probability that uh, you have the intersection of, paano ba natin ilalagay yan? Drama and band only. Only. Ha, huwag na nga natin isulat yung equation. Malilito lang tayo. Okay, so the probability, lagay mo na lang P. P is equal to, ano, uh, we have 30 over, so 30 yung possible or yung number of ways. Tapos yung number of possible outcomes is 295. Ito yun, ha? So, we have 295, yung total. So, 30 equals or over 295. But we have to simplify this one. Okay? Saan siya? Mm, divisible. Divisible siya by how many? Divisible siya by 5, diba? Sige, tignan natin to. We have here 6. Eto, pag dinivide natin siya by 5, this is 5. And then, 45 divided by 5 is 9. Okay, so you will have 6 over 59. Therefore, the probability is 6 over 59. Okay? Mas madaling magsulat ng pa-sentence kesa pa-equation pag nag-final answer na kayo. Okay, now for learning task number 2. Oh, let's see this one. Consider the situation below and answer the questions that follow. Grade 8 students of San Pablo City Integ Integrated High School have chosen their favorite subjects. The Venn diagram shows the uh, students' probabilities. O, oh, eto, probabilities na yung binigay, ha? Of choosing either science or mathematics as their favorite subject. Okay? Ang kinukuha yung probability na math yung uh, piliin. Okay? So, ano yan? Eto yun. So, you just have to add the 0 0.35 plus the 0 0.20 and that is 0 0.55. Okay? Now, the probability that science will be chosen. O, oh, teka, ha, palit akong kulay. O, oh, asan yung sa science? Ito yung science, diba? Ito yun. So, you will have 0 0.20 plus 0 0.30 and that is 0 0.50 or 0 0.5. Now, the probability of the union of math and science. So, you just have to add, eto yun, yung eto sila, yan, union nila. 0 0.35 plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.30 and that is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 85. 0 0.85. Okay? Now, ito naman, the probability that that is not math. Okay? Pag meron kayong complement, ibig sabihin yung hindi. Dun sa binigay na set. Eh, ano-ano ba yung hindi? etong nandito, sa kalahat ng nasa labas. Okay? So, you just have to add 0 0.30 plus 0 0.15. And that is 0 0.45. Okay, how about naman uh, the probability 
of uh, the complement of math, uh, of the intersection of math and science. Ibig sabihin, ibang kulay naman. Teka, tanggalin ko. Wait. Para hindi malito. O, asan yung tinutukoy ko dyan? Sa pato. O, yung lahat daw nang wala sa intersection ng math and science. So, ano yun? Ito, ito, saka ito. Okay, so you will have 0.35 plus 0.30 plus 0.15. So, we have 3, 6, 7, 18, no? 0.80. Tama? 3, 6, 7, 5 plus 5, 10, 80. So, you have 0.80. That's it. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, now... Let's have this one. Learning task number three. Consider the situation below and answer the questions that follow. So, San Pablo National High School Department conducted the math camp where students can play Rubik's Cube, Tangrams, and Sudoku. 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 The Venn diagram below so shows the number of students who joined the camp. Okay, how many students joined the camp? Ilan lahat ito? Okay, add natin 15 plus 10 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8, plus 3, plus 10, plus 2. Yung nasa labas, ha? Sige, tingnan natin, ha? Para mabilis, eto na. 15, plus 10, plus 5, plus 7, plus 8, plus 3, plus 10, plus 2. So, there are, how many? 60. Okay, equals to 60. Now, the question is, for number 2, is how many students played Rubik's Cube? O, ilan to? Ilan yung nasa Rubik's Cube? So, you have 15 plus 10 plus a 5 plus a 7. So, 15, 25, 30 plus 7, 37. Lagyan ng mga ano ha, unit ha, students. And then, ito din, students ha. If a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student played Tangrams or Sudoku, ha? Tangrams or Sudoku. Ibig sabihin, or eto, yun yun ang pinag-uusapan natin. So, dapat daw naglalaro ng Tangrams at Sudoku. So, eto yun. Tangrams and Sudoku. So, we have 10 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 3 plus 10. O, ilan yan? We have here 10 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 3 plus 10. Aha, 43. Wait. You have here 43. Okay, tama. Pero ang tanong ay probability, ha? So, ibig sabihin, that will be 43 over, okay, 60. So, the probability of the union of tangrams and sudoku is equal to 43 over 60. Ngayon, kung pwede pang i-lowest term, i-lowest term pa, pero dahil hindi na ito pwedeng i-lowest term, yan yung sagot ko, ha? Tandaan nyo, iba-iba tayo ng given, kaya iba-iba tayo ng sagot. Ulit, i-check kung pwede pang ma-lowest term yung sa inyo, ha? Kung pwede pa, i-lowest term. Okay, now... For number four, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student played Rubik's Cube or Sudoku? Okay, so Rubik's Cube and Sudo or Sudoku ito, ha? Ibig sabihin, union ulit. Ito naman, union ng Rubik's Cube and Sudoku. Oh, let's see. Aha, tanggalin natin to para malinaw. Okay, ay, sorry. Rubik, sorry. <laughs> Mga anak, wait lang ha. Bakit ayaw mabura? Ay, pabayanan natin. Sayang yung time. Okay, Rubik's Cube and Sudoku. So, eto yon Yung union nila. Okay, so you will have 15 plus 10 plus 5 plus 7. 15 plus 5 plus 10 plus 7. Okay, for the Rubik's Cube. And then, plus 10 plus 3. Plus 10 plus 3. Ilan? So, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, this is 50 
50. Okay? Tapos yung probability nila, okay, enter ko lang. The probability of the union of rubri, Rubik's and Sudoku is equal to 50 over ilan lahat yung estudyante? 60. O, ito yung sinasabi ko, pwedeng malawas term. So, you have 5 over 6. Therefore, the probability is 5 over 6. Okay? O, now, for the last one. Okay, learning task number 450 students were surveyed about their favorite fruit. The following Venn diagram shows the result of the survey. For number one, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student has mango and apple as his her favorite fruit? Okay, so we have here the word end. Okay, so pag end, ang tinutukoy nating operation dyan ay intersection. Ha? Okay, so common sa kanilang dalawa. Tingnan nga natin, ano ba ang intersection ng mango and apple? Ito yung mango, ito ngayon yung apple. Ano yung intersection nila? Ito. So, we have here uh, the intersection of mango and apple is equal to 5 plus 7, which is 12. Pero, ang tanong sa atin ay, ano yung probability? So, kung i-add natin lahat ito, kailangan natin makuha yung total. You will have here 10 plus 8 plus 5 plus 7, okay? Plus 15 plus 9 plus 4 plus 2. Okay, para mas mabilis, let's have this one. 10 plus 8 plus 5 plus 7 plus 15 plus 9 plus 4 plus 2. Okay, so you have 60. Kailangan mo kasi yung total kasi yung probability, siya yung magiging denominator natin. So, the probability of the intersection of mango and apple is equal to 12 over 60. Ngayon, ilowest term natin, divisible by 12 sila, di ba? So, 1 over 5. So, the probability, therefore, oops, therefore, the probability, ayan na yung aking sulat na pang calligraphy, <laughs> comment nga kayo, the probability is 1 over 5. Okay. Next, for number 2, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student has banana or apple, apple, apple as his her favorite fruit? And sabi, student has banana or apple. Ibig sabihin, yun yun naman ni banana and apple. So, we have here, ilan? Banana, okay, or apple. So, we have 9 plus 8 plus 5 plus 4 plus 7 plus 15. 